Hey everyone, welcome to FA channel. We're all about celebrating our technology and creativity. Today's video is slightly different than usual video because recently I've seen a lot of ads about this new Chinese VR headset, Apparel VR headset. And then I also find this global press conference on Bilibili. So basically Bilibili is like Chinese YouTube. Like you can upload videos, sharing videos. We had a little channel there. We didn't really post a lot of video, but I constantly check if there's any interesting videos about art and tech. And Apra VR made this global press conference video in English. It's, uh, in Chinese, it said global press conference, but when it come to the English subtitle, it says completely different thing. Plus, they don't. I can't find any other places with this video. I can't find on YouTube or any other places. Also, on their website, it's not there. But it definitely tells what they're trying to do with create with this VR headset. So in today's episode, let's go take a look, and yeah. Hopefully in the future I can try it. Who knows? Maybe it is pretty good. So in this global press conference, basically they're introducing two things. One is the um, headset they just announced, apparel VR. And also is the metaverse they would try to create to trade uh, an FT and then you can trade land which is, um, I'm not sure how it works, the blockchain, because Ethereum is banned in China. Maybe there's Chinese cryptocurrency they're using. And so they're having this huge concept of the world they try to sell there. So let's go take a look and I'll show you through the whole video. I will not focus too much on the specs of the headset because you can check very easy online. You can see the whole image of all the specs. I will just only t I will just talk about this whole concept of the media um, conference and how they do this commercial. It's very interesting. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, this is like Apple ads. This moment is the real you in front of the screen. Look around, is that what you want? How to find your true self? Wow. Okay, here I want to talk. In Chinese, in English, it said a pair of VR has said global debut. Explore, explore yourself in the para, parallel paradise. But in Chinese, it's uh, meeting yourself in another parallel world. It's the global press conference. Well, there's nothing with press conference on in the English. And then so that's why a lot of people are saying like, if it's like a global press conference, it's better put English. It says press conference because now I'm expecting people like, you know, talk about like a regular press conference but this is maybe a new way to do this press conference let's keep going <laughs> it just it's, english and chinese is so different in so many parts but that's why i wanted to do this video so you can you guys can see which part is is very interesting so they start with this girl called abby she's 22 years old and just graduate from university and then she's having this very repetitive boring life as like a worker in china in beijing so like she's in this park now and feel like very depressed <laughs> so they're trying to make this story i think to represent this girl like in this physical world and very bored and 
And she wanted to like she's lonely too, by the way. And then she really wanted to feel the excitement. <laughs> she's used to this boring life. And she's really adore those people, like having fighting life, she wants to live like in a dream. Fighting and <laughs> adrenaline goes up. Some people comment like this is like misleading, the life value. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. Question mark. Where am I? <laughs> I have to say her facial expressions. My face mocap is way better than this. I think. <laughs> what do you think? So she's meeting this virtual person that is another her although they're both virtual <laughs> why you're here so 22 years ago so basically they're saying this virtual one is born the same time 20 years ago with her and then she used to live inside her and then when she grow up she started to forget about this virtual her, like another her, like I think it's outer ego of her. And then she went to this virtual world. Doesn't make sense, but it's okay. Like, I think that's like a story <laughs> they create. Eventually, before I'm about to disappear, I decide to leave you. Somewhere they can, she can grow and how did you come to this world? And then she says she spent a long time. And she found a parallel land entrance. Our civilization spent 90 years. Civilization, such a big word. Spending 90 years to come to this entrance, she said. At the beginning, it's like there's a writer write about VR and then the concept VR merge. And then the headset, VR headset start. But the technical is not good enough. So in 1968, the first VR headset was born. And then, yeah, this is like a milestone. And then during the next 30 years, it's just like... <laughs> okay, did you hear that? So it said after like the VR headset start and then over the 30 years, nothing really excited. Until 2012, Oculus Raft. <laughs> what is that? Oculus Raft. Oculus Raft um, start to like make people feel excited, but still failed to deliver. What? So confident. <laughs> First of all, why Oculus Raft? I mean, please check English pronunciation. And then he said it doesn't really, it, it brings up the hope, but it didn't really deliver the quality. Hmm. <laughs> Until seven years ago, a team goes by a parallel and <laughs> Build the gateway to the virtual world. Wow. And then document it. It's like historical moment. Cool. That's the power of advertising in China. I'm not joking. Like you just need to be confident. So now the team is introducing themselves. I think they're just talking about like the over the past 90 years like the headset is still not great enough because it's still image is not clear enough and they probably talk about how uh, it's not clear image is not clear crystal clear enough and then the headset is pretty heavy so they started to try and research and build this since 2014 building this apparel line 
And now they're just going to introduce every aspect of this headset. I'm not going to to detail with it because you can search online very easily. Very high PPI. <laughs> Some people call this like this is like my university graduation proposal look like <laughs> for design. Yeah, I have to say the attitude is and then the whole budget seems pretty low because for this ads, the headset looks pretty good. But this ads, the whole video editing is pretty strange. Not the best quality they can do. I don't know why. Maybe they don't want to spend too much on commercial like this. <laughs> Abby, do you want to try the VR headset? But the thing is, you guys are both virtual. I mean, don't you need a real person to try? That's more makes sense. I don't get this part. Why a virtual person try a virtual VR? And then said, oh, it's so clear. I've heard many people complain about VR has having interfere and pixel image. How a pearl has to fix all this problem. It better do fix all this problem because it better be very good. Okay, so from now, she's asking, asking her to go to this world and then the editing just like something goes to black <laughs> oh they're introducing a power land world i think this is like completely a concept design and then make it like concept land at the beginning, I was like a bit confused about why they're making this world such a big deal. I think they want to create this imaginary land in VR so people can trade NFT and all the product, like build things. And see, that she's talking about like in this world, it's the only boundary is imagination. But unfortunately, I. I'm not a creative person. <laughs> Can I purchase something and if and like clothing, and game items, and and is anyone gonna steal it from me? No. How? Like, ah, uh, and then now they have a blockchain and then how they will build. NFT, they will uh, do auction, you can collect and buy items. I think that's the purpose of this whole apparel land. I can create anything and then store it forever. Building ideology of VR world. Beautiful. <laughs> Someone said great concept is it gonna achieve in 10 years so this is like a concept conference now they say they find a lot of like uh peop like a lot of people to experience this they should show how these people experience the parallel instead of having some virtual avatar experience not even experience like talking about it but maybe that's the whole point of this conference hmm interesting that's the whole team mostly if i can see in chinese mostly our work in media <laughs> the team maybe they got a lot of budget for this i'm sure they do now you can pre-order I think it's around five ninety nine US dollar, so pretty expensive. Not too cheap, cause even but not better than Oculus Quest. It's not worth the money for sure. Hope to see you soon. Okay, cool. So yeah, so that's it. The video you just watched is twenty minutes long. I cut some interesting part to show you guys it's so funny how they 
pronounce Oculus Rift, Oculus Raft. But I realized why they compare to Oculus Ra Rift. <laughs> it's because I think Oculus Rift is the last Oculus VR headset you can buy, purchase in China. Because Oculus Quest 2, you can't buy in China. It's because you have to link with Facebook account and you can't access to Facebook in China. I think that's why. So in that world, <laughs> in the Chinese world, Oculus Rift is the last headset. So I guess they're comparing a Pearl VR with Oculus Rift. Somehow it makes sense. So maybe I get it wrong. Don't compare with Oculus Quest 2 because it doesn't exist in China. <laughs> I guess in terms of how good this video is as media media press conference is the editing is not good, but they're really confident. So that's what the advertising is about. You have to be confident. And after I watch this video, I do want to try how light it is, how good it is. I'm kind of worried about the content though. I'm not sure how many content you can actually play because again, it doesn't connect to Facebook. So that could be one of the problem. If you want to purchase one here, I think their biggest com competitor is Pico Neo. Um, let's, let's see in the future, I'm sure a lot of people will do review. Maybe we'll talk about, maybe I will have one eventually and share with you guys how it, how it is. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's just really interesting because my because of our background, I really wanted to see how is the VR in China. A lot of people actually really like anime and then they really like to post content about VR on Bilibili. So hmm, perhaps it is a good creation after all. We'll see how it goes and I'll give you keep you guys updated. And that's it for today's video. Please subscribe our channel for new updates every week. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.